All right, ladies and gents, uh, what's up? And welcome back for another FT AI battle. So on top we have um, Mirai's team, and then on the bottom we have uh, Scotty's team. Uh, yeah, we'll introduce both units or both teams now. So for Mirai, we have Battlefield Commander the Thief, Temporal Warlord the Knight, Sniper Medic the Chemist, and Comet Medic the Oracle. Uh, and now for Scotty's team, we have Elemental the Summoner, Sayori the Samurai. Hurt and Heal the Chemist. And Pretty Dark Holy the Archaic Demon. Yep, yep. So, one thing to point out is that Archaic Demons, just like Ultima Demons, they have an 8 short charge. Um, they also have an additional point of speed compared to Ultima Demons, so they are a little bit more mobile. Um, so, it's going to come down to whoever moves first, whether it's the Archaic Demon or if it's the Oracle. If the Archaic Demon moves first, then he's not going to be able to use a Dark Holy onto this Oracle, let's say. And then if the Oracle moves second, she can use like a spell, let's say, onto the Arca uh, Archaic Demon. So, we'll see. Alright. Um, yeah, I'm really not sure who's going to win this, though, to be honest. But I'll point out a couple things. The Samurai having death, uh, Defense Ring means no sleep or Death Sentence procs. So, um, that means... That the Assassin Dagger here, uh, she's immune to the Assassin Dagger shots. And then this uh, Chemist with a Zenkai Armlet means he can't get charmed. So, bear those things in mind. Alright, let's go to map number 62. Chapel of Orban Monastery. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'm not sure who's going to take this one. We'll find out. Um, remember that uh, this thief can only charm the Archaic Demon, no one else, because of the Enkai Armlet on that uh, chemist. And um, summon immediately off the bat. Um, remember that with the initial slow on that uh, on that chemist, um, it's going to make things a little problematic for her. And she lost a little more, more than half her life bar right there, which is unfortunate. Um, that's a dark hole. Are we going to see any... Canceling the spells? Yes, you, yes we are. Nice. Unfortunate that the, the chem... Uh, how do I say? It's unfortunate that the... That the Oracle didn't use the Don't Act on both the Samurai and the... And the Summoner. She could hit both of them, I believe. But, it's whatever. Alright, Oracle's immediately been put down. Um, with the haste now on that uh, Chemist... And a slow, that chemist might be able to get a turn in before the archaic demon. I'm not certain. Alright, she should be dead here. Or the chemist for that matter. A little unfortunate. Cure 3. Uh, with the short charge, it probably will go out before the archaic demon gets his turn off. And goes for a giga flare. Nope. Giga flare for the kill. Oh no, that's actually another Dirk Holy. Alright. Oh, she redirected that? Okay, for some reason I thought she casted it. A little unfortunate. A three-man slow, though, that's going to be much needed for Mirai to have any momentum here. And I just noticed, again, it's a permanent 2v4. The two resers are down. Ah, oh, that sucks. 3v4. No death sentences. Cyclops, all right. Damage split? Yeah, for a good amount, too. That's juicy. Alright. But she's gonna... That, that's gonna be like the... Oh, he guarded too. Very lucky. Um, yeah, that female samurai is gonna be the juggernaut, I would say. With everybody having slow, they have uh, half as many turns in. Remember. Weapon break? Yeah. But again, I feel like the samurai is gonna be... It's gonna be a, a bit of an issue for her. Because... She's just so fucking tanky. The only way I can see this happening... Oh, Silent Song. So no more... Oh, they can only use the regular skill sets now. I could see this happening if... um, I could see Miri winning this if she goes for a bunch of speed breaks. I suppose that there is um a slow right now. It just wore off on the Samurai, but I'm a little concerned. Yeah. Now that, chem or that um, Thief does have MP switch, move MP up. But she should be going for speed breaks right now. That's what I'd be doing if I was in the player's position. 
Because then I can get like eight turns into her one. Um, and they're going for 52 damage instead, like an idiot. And she can't get the assassin dagger. I uh, remember because of the defense ring. So. Yeah, I feel like that the samurai is going to be too tanky. Let me just make sure something. Okay, the samurai does have a 60% chance of getting auto potion, not 70. Yeah. Because I nerfed it to specifically a maximum of 60 brave with auto potion because it considered a 70% too good. The last woman standing, yes. <laughs> All right. Well, remember that this knight doesn't have any true sustain of his own. It's going to come down to these auto potions not triggering. And if they do, it's going to be a little bit difficult to take her out. And she's healing up more HP than she's being dealt because this uh, the th this thief is being a little idiotic right now. It is true, yeah, the shell is mitigating the damage of that samurai. <laughs> if only your thief was going for fucking speed break procs, would she make me proud? But she's not. She's going for fucking... Oh, she's going to grab a crystal. Yep. <laughs> Here we go again. Uh, Alright, that knight's got to grab the crystal. Is she just going to auto potion her way to fucking victory? Okay. <laughs> oh, God. This is going to be like another three minutes. Alright. Okay. I, I, I'm tempted to speed it up, but I'm not going to. <laughs> oh, she didn't get it this time. Alright. Yeah, that move HP up. Fucking A. Yeah, they both have slow now because of the Kotetsu. Or Heaven's God, sorry. Yeah, they, they, they just can't kill her. Um, the only way this is going to happen is if Auto Potion misses consecutively. It's as simple as that. And this thief being a dumbass doesn't help out either. It really doesn't. Yeah. This thief is just being dumb. <laughs> yeah, just do some Harakiri or something. That'd be much better. And we got too slow. All right. Yeah, I think that this is going to be over unless the AI decides to be intelligent. And there's the double turns. Yep. Yep. There we go. All right. So this is gonna. That's gonna clinch it. Yeah. This samurai was able to. Oh yeah. Now she's got fucking Kiyomori for auto protect and auto shell. Fantastic. Yep. Because that, you thought he was doing not a lot of damage before. Now he's doing 90. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, we're speeding this up. Yeah, so unfortunately Mirei's units just did not have enough damage to take out the samurai. It would have to be like a 4v1 to take her out, but... Oh, man. Yeah, with defense up and protect, sta uh, protect stacking like that, it's extremely hard to kill him. It reminds me of uh, Rafael. You know, in the final set of fights, because he's got to save the queen for auto-protect, and then he has defense up. So fucking hard to kill units like that. It really is. It's absolutely insane. All right, we're going to go to map 59, according to my list. Underground bookstore, it's third floor. Move HP up. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. It, it's just lame that the AI never use speed break. Because if they got, like, you know, triple, quadruple turns into that thief, she would have been overwhelmed and eventually taken out. Because that would also mean less move HP at procs, too. <clears throat> yeah, what, what does have the what does this uh, knight have again? I kind of forget. Let's take a little field trip. What's he got? Yeah, I mean, I can understand move plus one. It's 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 okay. Um, you know, you want to have a a fat ass like that have some mobility at least. You want to at least do, be able to do something. Not waddle his way to fucking victory, but whatever. Yeah, move HP up definitely would be better in this particular scenario. Because <clears throat> you would have had a lot more sus uh, sustain. Yep. So it's it's a question of, do I want four move for my tank? Or do I want three move for them? Alright, Samurai has taken a bit of damage. Er, not Samurai. Um, the thief. <clears throat> hey, 
Yeah, the mobility options is something I'm definitely going to address down the road because you can reallocate movement abilities as support abilities, as an example. So I don't remember exactly how to do it, but I believe there's a way to make it so that, like, teleport and fly are considered support abilities, as an example. Um, that way you can, can combine them, like move plus one and teleport if you really wanted to. And I, I just don't like move plus two and move plus three. I think they're way too strong for what they do. <clears throat> Damn a sweat, not bad. Okay. Yeah, there like yeah, there is a way to reallocate all of them too. So you could also make uh, movement speed abilities in theory, um, or movement abilities. You could also make them support abilities too, which would be interesting. <clears throat> Two sixteen, that bad. Okay, so it kind of looks like um, Miri has a little bit of a momentum because her revivers, are, uh, her revivers, are still alive. Uh, the Oracle and the Chemist, but we'll see. We're gonna see any life breaks from that ultimate uh, archaic demon? No, because he's got don't act any at the slow proc. Okay, yeah, definitely. Um, Miri is in the driver's seat right now. Uh, let's see, is that what spell is that again? I can't tell. She's targeting down the chemist. All right. Yeah, paralyzed does connect. So Titan though. Empty switch saves the thief's life. Very nice. Sixty percent chance of that triggering. Hmm. In critical, not bad. Going for looks like either a fairy or moogle. Probably a fairy. That'd be really high HP for a moogle. Okay, she's got a haste, but she's not able to do anything with it. Yeah, with that thief being critical right now, she's just gonna kind of run away. I scratch that. She's gonna now attack. Um, I'm guessing that's a, a silent song. Could be a pray faith, which would be interesting. But it would probably backfire in the end with the Oracle having a, having a higher chance of hitting. Alright, she does dodge with a blade grass shot. Very nice. Paralyze. Okay, on that Oracle, that's actually pretty big. Um, yeah, that Oracle having a Paralyze means she's just, she's just going to be distancing the rest of her team. Epi Switch saving her life again. Very nice. That would have killed her too if it didn't connect. Haste. Okay. Right. Who's the chemist going for this time? Right, puts her in critical. Uh, that archaic demon... I thought it was going to get revived, but nope. Alright, the shenanigans from that uh, oracle have stopped for the time being. So they're able to recuperate a little bit. Uh, and uh, Scotty's team. We'll see. Oh, that would have been so huge right there. Breaking his weapon like that. Then he'd be doing just fist damage. Okay. <laughs> She's all, she's in critical. She's gonna die very soon. Uh, I know I hit the samurai. A little unfortunate. Hopefully we see this thief go for another weapon break because that's gonna be necessary in order for her to survive this uh, chemist right here, so she doesn't get gunned down by her male counterpart. All right, it does break, so there'll be no more magic guns. And uh, yeah, the archaic demon is down, so it's a permanent four v three. Counteracts the haste, but remember the knight is right there to just say, you know what, I'm going to slow you, bitch. Nice try. Oh, of course I misses. 9% miss. <laughs> of course. She gets a crystal to survive. Oh, very lucky. A weapon break. Yeah, nice. So the pee bag's gone. Less uh, sustainability on this, uh, on this tanky bitch. All right, Oracle's back up and running now. But um, I think she's dead. No, she's still st uh, standing strong. Very interesting. Okay. Gunshot from all the way down there. Not bad. Looks like another slow proc. Alright, that's attempt number two. Um, yeah, remember that uh, that chemist lost his uh, blast gun, so he can only do fist damage. Or in this case, he'll be going for, uh, you know, healing. But another gunshot from this uh, female chemist on Mirai's team will actually be able to take out the, uh, be able to take her out. Yep, did uh, 169. Not bad. So, 
right now it's 4v2, and it's going to be up to a chemist and a samurai. I don't think that um, Scotty's going to be able to come back, but I could be wrong. Again, it's a permanent 4v3. you got to recall that. With a slow on the uh, samurai, she's definitely not going to be getting turns in. And this, in fact, this thief should be getting double turns in, assuming this haste hits. It does. So most likely this thief will be getting double turns in to this uh, samurai. And hopefully she's intelligent. Go for speed break. Oh, you fucking idiot. Oh my god. You know what? I I don't give a shit. We're gonna go confirm this right now. We're gonna go another field trip. I know that 30 damage critical is so important to not trigger the auto potion. Let's confirm it. Yeah, this bitch has it. She's got it, but she's just... She doesn't care. <laughs> she doesn't give a shit. So right now, that is a 4-speed Samurai and a 16-speed Thief with the Slow and Haste procs on them, respectively. Oh, you, you gotta get that Samurai. You gotta get that 52 damage in. You gotta... What, what's that phrase? It's, a, it's death by a thousand cuts. Literally. <laughs> That's what this is. Death by a thousand cuts. Alright, if you get a don't act, then the fucking auto potions are in trigger. She should be redirecting that spell. Nice. Damage split for a measly amount, but that summoner, uh, still going for the thief. I feel like that, um, Samurai is only targeting the thief. It's like she's got a heart on for her or something. Wisne bus kills? Oh, fuck. I don't even want to envision that. <laughs> oh, come on. I didn't break your gear. Fuck off. That would have broken her... Um, I don't know. I think she's got a, a circlet. Not, a circlet and a Maximilian, I believe. Yeah, I think it's specifically like the stat breaks, you know, like speed break, power break, all that stuff. They act kind of idiotic about it. But when it comes to like the equipment breaks, they'll actually use them quite often. Um, yeah, so I think I think generally speaking, like in order to get the AI to use like speed break, etc., you specifically have to like just have that, no equipment breaks. I think that's the only way you can have a chance at doing it. Um, Bahamut. All right, who's it on? Another empty switch. This this uh, summoner has not been able to take out the thief like once. Jesus. And with her one third MP, she she's still going strong like six minutes in. How long has this been? Like five minutes. No MP replenishment from that chemist. Oh my god. MP Switch saves his life. Alright. Yeah, this uh this summoner's kind of body blocking. Right, she's down, but the Oracle's right there to pick her back up. And then the these two lovebirds, the knight and the samurai, are just gonna stare at each other in the eye as it's the Japanese warrior versus the medieval warrior. They're gonna look at each other in the mirror and say, This is what I could become. That's what they're going to do. Does trigger. Okay, she's back to full life. Finally. And, um... That should be a haste too right there. Alright, finally that summoner is able to take out, uh... The thief for once. Jesus, that took a while. 96%. Yeah, look at these one-third MP procs. Like, they have so much MP. We're six minutes in and they're, they're not even depleted yet. It's crazy. It's crazy how long they can survive. It is 4v3 still, but... And we'll find out. Alright. Minimal damage onto the chemist. He's probably going to use a... Don't know why he'd use a high ether on himself, but okay. <laughs> Not the fucking chemist. Alright, don't act on that... Um... I know that uh, that uh, archaic demon was just a liability. <laughs> yeah, I, I. They should be able to take out this fat ass now, this uh, samurai, but they're not opting to do so.
I guess she can get poked from behind. She can get poked up the up the butt by a stick, you know. Oh, who? All right, we're gonna go for. He's not critical just yet. All right, now finish him up. Cut him down. MP switch, you fuck. <laughs> of course he survives. She's still alive. Meatbone Slash. Oh, but the, the vertical tolerance there and the body blocking. That's kind of cool use of Meatbone Slash. All right, finally, the Samurai goes down. Yeah, the Meatbone Slash would have been cool, but the, the, the structure's in the way. That's unfortunate. Yes, um, the chem chemist does have Enkai armlet. Wait, me build slash? Oh, I didn't trigger this time. Or unless that's too, f unless that's not eight panels, it could have triggered again. Unfortunate, ninety-six percent. All right, yeah, we're just waiting for the sam summoner to go down. And remember, she's at thirty MP. She's almost out of MP. She's got enough for like one or two more spells, and then she's got to grab the crystals of her fallen comrades to have an opportunity. But it's not going to happen. Yeah, I don't see this happening anytime soon. S cut her down. There we go. Fuck. That was a long fucking round. Jesus Christ. All right. Now, let's go to uh, our tiebreaker then. Tutorial map 101. And let me confirm something. I don't know why. Let me just let me t take a look at something real quick. Okay, cool. For some reason, I thought they, um, I thought I was using the other memory card slot, but I was not. Ugh. Okay, what are we at? Eight o'clock now? Oh shit! Okay. Wait a minute, weren't these? Okay, they did. They did switch spots. Interesting. I thought um, the archaic demon was gonna get his turn in first. I think, yeah, actually the Archaic Demon will get his turn in first because I switched out the turn order of units. Um, so if everybody had the exact same speed, the way in which they would get turns in is a little bit different. Yeah, see, the Archaic Demon gets his turn. Oh, he's still in range. Right, minimal damage. But because, again, the Archaic Demon goes in first, that Oracle's able to survive now. So this, this, um, this is like completely different from the last time. No death sentence, but it's not needed. All right, haste onto that chemist. I Means she can just gun dead people down now. And MP switch triggers, of course. All right, Ke keeps her alive. Not bad. No slope rocks. Um. Hopefully, that the thief should be able to get another turn in before that spell resolves. That's a slow two, and a gunshot. Not bad. Um, I wonder. Is this demon? Yeah, it looks like he... Wait. Hold on. What's going to cast first? I think that's a Dark Holy. Dark Holy or the P Paralysis? I think the Dark Holy is faster. P paralysis, sorry. Nice! It cancels, out, cancels it out. Awesome. Alright, MP Switch does not trigger this time. And that Thief is just 1v3 in right now. Not bad. Yeah, she's just 1v3 in with those MP Switches, saving her life, just barely. Weapon break, not bad. So the pee bag being broken down. They're being slowly crippled down to nothing. MP Switch saves his life, just like it did for the thief. Christ. Mm hmm. Alright, now the demon's gonna get cut down. Interesting. Um. Yeah, that Oracle, again, this is the huge this is the huge difference maker that um Oracle being able to survive, I think, is kind of key, honestly. MP switch does not trigger here. Agreed. Yeah, breaking that um is that's really important. And, oh, he's in critical now, but he does have don't act. Um, he's gonna get cut down. Yes, he is. So it is three v three, but that chemist is right there to pick up the archaic demon, and that thief is in the opposite corner, and we are gonna see a life break. Uh oh, damage split. All right, healed up one hundred and sixty two. Not bad. We can see a X potion. No. Ah, oh, headbreak. Uh, no circle is broken. She got a double turn with her haste. Holy shit. Yeah, the Kiyomori, though, came in clutch. 64% raise 2. Will it trigger? A two-man don't act. Uh-oh. Wait, hold on. It does hit. All right, so the chemist is going to have to go for revival here. Interesting. She gets cut down. Wow, it's 2v3. Interesting. 
She's most likely going to opt to heal herself, this uh, summoner. All right. She got a head break, so I think that's 100 HP down the toilet. Interesting. She's going to grab a crystal, doesn't she? Fuck off. Of course she does. Two-man don't act? Nice. We should see it. Hopefully it hits both of them. Cut down? Nope. All right. Question is if that... Oh, he immediately gets a turn. And he gets Light Break off first. Because I think it's got like 50 speed, 2 CT. Light Break is extremely fast. He's got Short Charge on top of it. That's a... Light Break is extremely fast. You're almost never going to outpace someone with Light Break. It's ridiculous. Yeah, Short Charge Light Breaks. Yeah, it's almost like an instant move. It's crazy. He does not dodge there, sadly, but I don't think it matters. Yeah. Oh, man. Just when I thought, um... Just when I thought Miri had this, with it being 2v3. Yeah. And now it's two. It's 3v2. But now it's going to be 4v2 very shortly. Yeah, she's prioritizing her heals. Can she go for kills? No. Oh, man. She just... Did she just teleport in the tel t uh, depth to water? What an idiot, this chemist. Like, wh what do they do? They want to go for like a swim or something? They want to take off their clothes and just, you know, take a jump in the kiddie pond? I don't know what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> what are you doing? Ah, uh, you idiots. I guess it doesn't really matter, but because just because she has teleport. So she doesn't have to regard like the discrepancy of height. It doesn't lower your movement, I believe, if you have teleport or fly. Yeah, it's 4v1 now. Um, unfortunately, uh, the thief did get a little bit uh, pushed up a little bit too far. She got a little too antsy, and unfortunately, MP Switch didn't save her life. Yeah, there's a little bit of a potential comeback, but yeah. It, it's just a numbers game now at this point. I don't see um, yeah, Cyclops. She should be dead. Yep, takes her out, so. Alright, congrats, Scotty. You prevail in this best of three. Unfortunately, Mireille, that, uh, I think that life break, uh, killing off your knight, uh, kind of sealed it. Uh, yeah, just doing 300 damage like that would be so fast. Let's just confirm it real quick. I'm pretty sure. Let's look at it real fast. Yeah, 50 speed. So that's a 2 CT move before short charge. So you have it. I think it's literally a 100 speed move. Yep. Yep. Pretty good. Alright, well, with that said, I'll see you guys for the next uh, match then. Take care until then.